Can I get you a tea or a coffee? Oh, you're all right, love. I'm swilling in the stuff, to be honest. Right. Hey. Oh. Hiya. Uh, uh, sorry you caught me having my elevensies. Uh, oh, stay to me. Crumbs everywhere. Um, sure I can't get you something? No, I'm fine. Right. So, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Yeah, I'll get straight to the point, George. I just wanted to ask you if you would organise um, Stephen's funeral for me. Right. Um, well, um, I'm not really sure we'd be able to fit you in at the minute. We, we are very booked up, aren't we? Very. Um, we're turning people away in the droves. Really? Yeah. Although, um, to be honest, even if we weren't, which we are, you would be putting us in quite an awkward position. Why? You are undertakers, and we are family. Well, third cousins. I didn't realise this was your decision. Actually, Gail, I've just made Todd my junior partner. Look, I know what Stephen did is absolutely terrible, so I'm not making excuses, but surely there's a right for him to have some kind of send-off. Yeah, no, of course, and... I feel for you, Audrey, I really do. It's just that, well, knowing the people that he hurt and living on the same street, it just doesn't feel right. Yes, but can I just say something, please? Because I remember your father for years very, very well. And he organised a funeral for Richard Hillman when Gail asked him. Well, I can't really comment on that. But no, I'm sorry, Audrey, I've made my mind up. Well, we won't keep you any longer, then. Come on, Mum. Yeah. Your mum put you up to this. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, did you know that it's called a wake of vultures when they're feeding? No. A wake? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. No. Mind you, some of the wakes I've been to, they really were like vultures. <laughs> Talking of wakes, Roy, I had Audrey and Gail pop round earlier. Audrey was asking me if I'd organise Stephen's funeral. Did you just say you're going to organise Stephen's funeral? What? No. No, absolutely not. No, she, she asked me and I, I said to her, no, it's out the question. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Thought I was going to have to blacklist you. Blacklist? Well, you really think folk round here would still use shutters if you did Stephen's funeral? You'd have a picket line outside. You'd have to shut up shop for good. Sorry to bother you again. I've been looking all over. Can I have a word? Uh, actually, Audrey, I'm running a bit late for me next no, appointment. No, no, it won't take a sec, honestly. Are you sure you won't change your mind about Stephen's funeral? Oh, I'm so sorry, Audrey. I really am. I really want to help you, but I just don't see how I can. Look, he wasn't always a bad person, you know, Stephen. And I just want to remember him how he used to be, not how he became. I hear what you're saying. But I've made my decision. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's very funny, really. <laughs> Your dad would have helped me in a shot. Do you know, there was a time I thought I could see a lot of him in you. I'm not so sure now, actually. Have you had all the pink wafers? No, I don't think so. Well, have you hidden them again? Ah, yes. Mary went on the rampage again. Look away. Why? Because I don't want you to see me hiding place. George, we're not seven. I just want a pink wafer. Ugh, fine. Don't you dare tell anyone else. <laughs> Clever. I genuinely thought that was a Stuka dive bomber. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something, actually, Todd. Those magazines were now to do with me. What? No. I've decided to do Stephen's funeral. George, I knew you would, but I really think you should reconsider. Sorry. I've got this long-held principle that... Everyone deserves a send-off. 
to be laid to rest, yeah? No matter who they are. I mean, they, they, the guy terrorised the street. He was a murderer. And he was also someone's son. And if not for him, I'll do this for Audrey. So she can have closure. A lot of people are going to be really upset about this. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Which is why I'm sorry, but... I don't think I feel comfortable helping you. Yeah, that's OK. And I respect your decision. I can do this one on my own. Don't worry. I'm so glad you changed your mind, George. Thank you so much. It's the right thing to do. Now, um, there was a request in Stephen's will that he wanted to be buried. I see. Is that possible? Well, yes, it's possible, but bearing in mind the circumstances, my advice would be to go with a cremation instead. Oh, I want to be cremated. It's final then, isn't it? I mean, I don't want to wake up in a coffin six feet under. But Stephen specifically wanted a burial. When um, someone like Stephen is buried, the headstone and the grave can become a target for people. Oh, my goodness, I never thought of that. Mm. And the last thing you want is to be laying your flowers and seeing graffiti sprayed everywhere and headstones pushed over. Yeah, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? People want revenge. Yeah. And with a cremation, it's up to you where you scatter the ashes. Then that can become your special place to remember your son without advertising to somebody who might have a grudge. All right, yeah, let's go for that then. Yeah. And we'll keep things under wraps at this end, you know, so nobody finds out the details. Yes. Well, I only want a small service. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just the family. <laughs> 